Hello, hello, hello. I'm Alker Night Raven. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my next Legacy United review. And today we're looking at the second Doom and Destruction collection release of the Mayhem. Oh, I'm forgetting what they called themselves. <laughs> Mayhem Attack Squad or something like that. Um, but this consists of Prime Universe Breakdown and Windsweeper, who in the original toy release was a Trigger Con. Um, they did what they could to um, sort of match up the Trigger Con, but um, Non F has released an upgrade kit to do a proper Trigger Con of him. Um, I might, I'm plan on getting that at some point, I just don't know when. But, as usual, before we do anything, let's look at the packaging. And here it is, that same type of packaging that we saw with the first Doom and Destruction set. And here we got these tentacles again, all over the place. Legacy United, Doom and Destruction Collection, Breakdown, Windsweeper, Transformers, Generations, Takara Tomy, Hasbro. On this side, we've got Windsweeper and some Cybertronian writing. I don't know if that's his name. I, I've i never learned the uh, Cybertronian writing or language, so I know some people have. I really would like to. I just got to find the time for it. But there is an image of Windsweeper. It looks really good. On this side, we've got this image. Um, I don't know who... I'm still wondering who that is. I heard someone say that it's supposed to be Octopunch. But I would like to know. Um, but I got... It's also their insignia, I guess, for the Mayhem Attack Squad. I hope I'm getting that right. But there's an image of Breakdown looking pretty good on the top doom and destruction collection with that image again on the bottom barcode and much of other woods and on the back we have our product shots here you can see everything that's included along with what they did to sort of mimic his guns when he had the uh trigger um thing when with, of the original trigger con but it they just took the um oh, i'm forgetting their name the target masters and painted them silver because his his guns that would flip out whenever you'd hit the button were silver so what we got i guess ozone and clean sweep and here's our warning small parts please be careful so that is going to be it for the packaging and I think what we'll start with is Breakdown, because he'll be the easiest. So he's just a repaint with a new head of um, oh, Bulkhead. And that's kind of disappointing. I wish they'd have done more changes to Breakdown or, you know, something to make him a bit more different to bulkhead because i mean it, it fits them both in a way but i just wish there was more of a difference to distinguish them besides their color um, here he's got the insignia got the gas tanks there got the septicon symbol there translucent windows i mean it's it's the exact same mold as um bulkhead here you can see one of his weapons sitting back there this big old tarp over it so yeah so not really much of a difference here and there's the bottom you can see how everything folds up and yeah so his accessories i do have most of them stored but he does come with one more accessory that bulkhead not the original release of bulkhead but the Amazon exclusive Wreckers release of Bulkhead did. And it's and I didn't get that release. Um, I've seen them still on Amazon. 
I might go back and get the wreckers. I don't know. It just depends. Um, but it is the hammer. And it, of course, fits Prime Universe Breakdown a lot better because he hit, did have that hammer. Um, Bulkhead always had, like, the wrecking ball that would uh, be his weapon that would transform out. And Breakdown always had the hammer that would transform out. So, very cool. You can store this. Um, the instructions say to store it here. Oh can store it like that or you can store it with this i think this is the better one i'm assuming but you go too far with it and it can block the tires but yeah the instructions say to go there otherwise you could plug it into where the wrecking ball part is stored and have it just sitting out the back i mean kind of looks a little better like it's still hauling something just very long so yeah so yeah that's it for breakdown um there isn't really much else with this i mean if you've seen bulkhead you've seen breakdown so let's get a transformation then bring bring the feet down we can lift up the tarp lift these up sort of and if you want or actually we'll pull out this so you can see same piece that came with bulkhead just this one's more gray i think bulkheads was silver i can't remember i've got them on the shelf and then we'll pull out what'll be his shoulder weapon so there's that we'll move that off to the side now what we're gonna do is we're gonna untab so you want to see these like tab in right in the side here but you want to untab them and that'll bring this all down you can start transforming the legs but you want to untab these pieces from the side of the legs before you do that and the then what we're gonna do is we want to open up these we're gonna bring them up twist them around fold them away Make sure you remember that when I transformed it to vehicle mode, I had forgotten about that. Because <laughs> I haven't messed with bulkhead in a while. But yeah, rotate, put those away like that. You can bring the feet out. And that's, uh, come on. That's pretty much that all transformed. Bring these pieces in. And you want to take this piece, bring this down, and tab that in. So that's going to have all that ready. And now what we're going to do is going to bring this up. Bring the arms down. Sort of untab them so you can bring them out. Push this piece in. Make sure that goes in there. And bring up the head. And this will come down. And this piece is going to tab into here. Um, it's been a while since I've transformed bulkhead. But it is like all the same. Of course this has to be up. There we go. So we'll make sure that's in there. Now. Oh, and what did I. Oh, and I did not get that all the way up. So we need this all the way up and this all the way up as well. Now we can tab that in. These will tab into the sides here. Just make sure. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And this. Want up like this and this is going to just tab in like that and you can plug this back on if you want it's probably how I'm going to keep it but it's really like you, you can do the same thing with it as you could with bulkhead but here we have prime universe breakdown in robot mode and he doesn't look horrible I just wish they'd have done more with changing up the mold like 
maybe something different to the front end, you know, something that's really going to um, really going to like make it look different than Bulkhead does. Uh, I am hoping that we see some kind of an upgrade kit that will really improve this guy. Really, really am. <laughs> but we shall see. I think that is the way everything is supposed to be. Yep. Yep, pretty sure of that. But let's take a look at the head. I mean, it is prime universe, prime breakdown head, so very nice. Got the orange face, yellow eyes, got the blue sort of head crest in a way, the blue chin, all that gray. And then, of course, the rest. It's Bulkhead's body from first uh, wave of Legacy, and just done in blue and gray. Yeah. Articulation, it's all the same. So the head is on a ball joint, can rotate. Of course, you can only rotate it so far before the chin bounces on that. You can look up, can look down. A little bit of wiggle here. Arms come out like that. Full 360, bicep swivel, over 90 for the elbow, wrist, waist, legs kick forward that far kick back that far uh, full van dam thigh slightly over 90 for the knee and the feet can't really i mean you can move the toe up and the heel down or the toe down and the heel down and we get that much ankle pivot so it's really yeah like i said it's all the same all the same <laughs> And of course, he needs his weapons. So we'll get his weapons up. And this, what we're going to do with this is this is going to plug in. There's a post, a little tiny post right there. It's going to plug in right in there. And there he's got that weapon. And what I do for his hammer is I take this piece. This is going to go in, I think it goes in like this. Close that up, and then I just hook the hammer right in there, and there he's got his hammer. And there we go. And there is breakdown. So, could have been done better? Yes, definitely. <laughs> My biggest disappointment is they didn't make any changes to Bulkhead's body shape. They could have done, I honestly think all they really would need to do, in my personal opinion, was change the front of this. Still make it the same transformation, but make a decent change to the front. Like, heck, even like a big bull bar would have been great. Would, would have worked so well. It's all that would have needed to have been done. But set him off to the side. We'll bring in Wind Sweeper. Bring it down a little bit. And here it's seen this mold before. I'm forgetting the name. I've got him upstairs <laughs> on the shelf. I'm forgetting. No, uh, needle nose. Yeah, needle nose. So repainted needle nose, new head. I've seen it all before. Just different colors. Got this burgundy red, some purple. Got those uh, insignias again. I don't, and yeah, he's got a Decepticon insignia there, which will be his chest. Yeah, looks pretty good. So not bad. Now, again, what they did is they took Needle Nose's Target Masters and painted them silver. So it's the exact same. And just fold out the weapons, and then you can store them underneath right here right here and there you got that storage just like on needle nose i hope i got that right i think it's needle nose but yeah some silver here a little silver there and yellow for the cockpit you know it's it's not bad it's definitely 
the one I was more looking forward to. Just because, like, it, it's a trigger con, and what non F came out with is going to make it a really nice upgrade for him when I can get it. And I will show that off when I get it. But yeah, so that's it for his vehicle mode. So let's get him transformed. First, we're going to bring these up, get them out of the way. Untab those. Untab that. Then we want to bring these out. And I think these are going to rotate just like this. We can bring the feet down just like that. Rotate that. Bring the feet down. So there's that. Now we want to bring out the arms. Or actually, before we do that, we're going to untab this from the back. Make sure it all untabs. Leave it like that for now. Now we can bring out the arms. Whew. Bring out the arms. And I did I had that all goofy. <laughs> bring the head out. Now this is gonna come up. You wanna make sure that you get the arms as well as the head tabbed in. Rotate. Rotate. This is going to come down like that. Bring these out. This is going to come up. And these are going to tab in right in there. And we can bring this down. And these are going to tab in. These little tabs are going to tab in there to help close it all up. And there we have Windsweeper in his robot mode. Again, same transformation. We've seen it all before. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop, there we go. I did not have that completed. <laughs> there we go. That's better. <laughs> Make sure all is where it needs to be. And yeah. We'll take a look at his head. Yeah, new head for this. Be, I never had a trigger con or a trigger bot, but I, I looked at pictures of the original, and yeah, this is definitely his head. That orange face, yellow eyes, got this sort of... um tan for the helmet tan all over silver on the chest now these pieces are his knees for that silver yeah and everything folds up just like with uh needle nose i forget names on on some characters that like didn't have a big as big of an impact on me as other characters so i do apologize um Septicon symbol as we saw before yeah my biggest gripe though honestly with this is just like with needle nose the hollow arms like these could have had something i think but i mean i may maybe i i don't know it, just the hollowness just is weird to me but articulation head is on a ball joint can rotate only so far before the head starts hitting oh no can get it all the way almost all the way around then it does start hitting um can look up only so far before it hits the back here can look down that far some wiggle so that's not bad arms come out that far can do full rotation um However, the wing gets in the way, and you can have it like this if you want. We've got bicep swivel, double joint for the elbow, so full movement for the elbow. We've got wrist, we've got waist, legs kick forward that far, kick back only so far. You can bring them out and get even more. Can do over way over the full van dam got a thigh and due to transformation we've got full movement for the knee the feet can move it down and we've got that much ankle pivot so it's not bad now for his weapons or the repainted target master target masters he can hold them or 
if you want to make it look like the original trigger con just plug them in to his wrists then there you go that doesn't look bad either so it's not bad i mean could have been worse honestly we've seen them do so much worse but yeah so there is the second doom and destruction set from amazon um if you are looking for this amazon i believe still has them up uh and available last time i checked and i think i checked yesterday so when i because i was trying to see if um the third one the one that was shown at san diego comic-con and before san diego comic-con um if that was up for pre-order yet but not yet not yet so yeah um do i recommend it depends if it appeals to you definitely get it um if you could pass on this go ahead and pass on it it's it's one that you know it, if you found a if you got like an original release or that re-release from a couple of years ago of the two-pack that hasbro had on their uh hasbro pulse had for sale of the original breakdown and that works in your collection then you're fine i said i wish they would have done more for a remold on this to give us a better prime breakdown but we'll see if anybody comes out with something that'll upgrade him and make him look even better shouldn't have to do that but i am glad that there are these third-party people and 3d printing people who are doing that because they just they make our figures look so much better with stuff like that so so yeah so that's going to be it for me as always i want to say thank you for watching please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you all later